next we have the CSM Drag Visor and up front we have an artwork of Ryuki wearing the Drag Visor on his left arm. Unfortunately no special uh, artwork on the reverse side but on the top as well as the bottom we have some nice artwork of the Ryuki symbol. And on the sides of course it says complete selection modification and the back will be empty. Alright, let's get this drag visor out! Man, that looks pretty awesome! Okay, let me just adjust the position a bit. As usual, we have an instruction manual that we're not gonna care about. And alright, what's first? Of course we have the remaining vent cards which we'll take a look at later. And finally... The CSM. Whoa, it looks so good! Alright, I'm just gonna put it down. And here we have it. The Complete Selection Modification Drag Visor. Wow. Let's just take a look at the design on this thing, which is absolutely amazing. Just look at the dragon, the fins of the dragon's head right over there. And even the detail on the gold effect parts right here. Okay, not effect parts, but like the gold decorations right over here. As well as the fangs on the dragon in front. From the top, it looks exactly the same as it would in the show with a very nice metallic paint job with the red as well as the very nice detail of the yellow as well as including the markings on the silver parts on the dragon spins and head. Here we have the eyes which are super well done. I believe they will glow up once we put in batteries and start activating. Okay, uh, this is not a button but it's a very cool like a ruby like design over there. And then like the vents for the dragon's face. Continue on the sides, very nice. Very very well done overall. And over here on the other side is just a mirror image of the front, the left side, and yep, the back just looks sort of like this. And of course, on the bottom, we really have a blank space with the battery buttons. This is the battery button, and this is the voice button. Of course, if you guys want to check out what these buttons actually do, make sure to check back next week or whenever I upload the second part of this video where I'll be focusing on the sound effects. And here we have the strap, which I'm going to quickly remove. Okay, so the strap basically looks like this. It's essentially a Velcro strap. So basically, you just uh, attach the parts together like this. And I'm going to try putting it on. Okay, so it's a bit difficult to tighten, but overall, it fits on the adult arm really well. Right now, I just have a sort of uh, basic, not too tight, but just a normal grip around my forearm over here. and. It looks pretty good and feels pretty solid as well. There is a sense of being a bit loose but I think that's just a part of the design of this uh, device because even the SH Figure Arts uh, Kamen Rider Ryuki, the drag visor is just has a sort of like a bit of this loose feeling as well but I believe that is part of what the device features. But how exactly do we basically play our vent cards? Basically first you move the dragon's head forward and then this uh, slot will open up for you to insert the card right into this slot over here. I'll demonstrate with a card once you open the deck that comes with this uh, drag visor. But basically once you put a card inside, you just flip it back up. Here's how the gimmick looks like from a few other angles. To the front. To the back. To the front. To the back. To the front. To the back. Okay, now let's take a look at our secondary deck of vent cards. Starting off, we have Ryuki with Sword Vent, Strike Vent, Guard Vent, and next up we have Knight Sword Vent, his Trick Vent, where he multiplies into multiple knights, Nasty Vent, Dark Wings Cry, and Dark Wings Guard Vent, Strike Vent for Scissors with only 1000 attack, and of course, Scissors Guard Vent. And of course here we have the shoot vent for Kamen Rider Zolda. This is main a giant bazooka. Single one. And then the shoot vent, the shoulder cannons. Followed by the strike vent, which I'm actually not sure if he used this in the actual show. But I know of this card from the Kamen Rider Ryuki fighting game where he actually uses it as a melee weapon. And the guard vent as well. This one I'm also not sure if he actually used in the show. Here we have a swing vent for Raya, the whip. Followed by copy vent. Yes, I think this belongs to Raya as well, but looking at it, this symbol basically means that it's not exclusive to a certain rider and any of the decks could actually use them. And we have Guy's uh, Strike Vent as well as his Confine Vent, of course, his most famous tricky skill. And then uh, we have the Spiked Sword of Oja, Oja's Sword Vent and Oja's Steel Vent. 
Of course, Unite Vent. Uh, yes, the rest of his cards are here as well. We have Geno Cider. I really want the SHM Geno Cider and I still haven't gotten it to this day. It's just such an epic looking monster. I love it so much. And of course, the Geno Cider Final Vent. The Black Hole of Doom. And here we have Tiger's Strike Vent, his Claws, his Freeze Vent. Very powerful card, as well as Return Vent. And here we have uh, Impera Spin Van, poor guy who underwent a poor fate. And then Hulk Van belonging to Verde, the sort of yo-yo weapon. And his Clear Van as well, although I have no idea why this card should actually be a Van. I feel like it should just be his, like, his passive ability. And we have Fem Sword Van, the Gold Spear, and the Guard Van from Blank Wing as well. Followed by Ryuga Sword Van, which is distinctly very powerful compared to Ryuki's one. And then the 3k Strike Van for Ryuga. Well, Varuga having a guard vent as well, so I can't remember if he actually used this. And of course, the Sensor the Sensor Survive card owned by Odin till the end of the series. And next we have Odin's Time Vent, followed by Odin's Sword Vent, which is a very powerful sword vent with 4k power. And his guard vent also being impressive at 4k. And of course, right wing, uh, actually this is left wing of Survive, I believe. Yeah, from the perspective of the bird, this should be the left wing which is Ryuki's Burning Survive card with his new Sword Vent, which comes out of the Drag Visor Zwei, the Shoot Vent for Drag Renza. And using Copy Vent, he achieves... Wait, no, using Strange Vent, he can produce Trick Vent as well, if I'm not wrong. That is what happens, I believe. And then Guard Vent with Drag Renza. And yes, this is his Strange Vent. So the Strange Vent, basically, when you cast it, its effect sort of like generates a random uh, advent card. So basically, uh, when Knight Survive used Trick Band against him, he basically produced his own Trick Band in order to counter it using Strange Band. Here we have the right wing of Survive, the wing of Shippu, the Gale. And here we have uh, Knight Survive Sword Band, an incredibly powerful one, on par with Odin's Blades as well. Shoot Band, the Crossbow, followed by Blast Vent. And here is another copy of Trick Band for him, for his uh, Survive deck, I assume. And another copy of his nasty van, yes, it's just more copies. And here we have the blank sword van with only 300 attack. Very nice that they included it though, it'll be nice to keep it in like the blank deck. And of course, seal in order to complete the contract. And yes, this is a completely blank card. I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, I think this is like, you can create your own card, something like that, because I don't remember these being in the show. But that's a pretty cool twist. I guess you could use a marker and fill them in somehow. So we have like three uh, wild cards over there. And here we have the Sword Van for Kamen Rider Abyss before finishing off with his Strike Van, which I really love. I always have it equipped on my SHF Abyss. Now then, let's try activating a Sword Van with the Drag Visor. Pushing it in front. Oh, I think it's this way. Slot it in and swing back. Sword of Empty. Or at least that's what it's supposed to say. But yes, I won't be covering the sound effects in this unboxing video. So that'll be all for this CSM V Buckle and Drag Visor set unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and let me know what you guys think about this brand new CSM Hinchin item in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check back in next week when I finally upload the second part of this video, which will show off this item's sound effects. Don't forget to subscribe for more Kamen Rider and Tokusatsu related content and I'll see you guys in the next Kamen Rider video.